Hey guys, this is Dragon Star, and I just want to let you know that today is my birthday as of January 17th. And uh, be before we um, start um, doing my birthday video vlog, I just want to let you know that um, sorry for the lighting and such. I thought we were gonna get some. I thought we were gonna get some sunlight or something like that, but I guess nature decided to want to go with rain on something. I don't know what. But anyway. So the only thing I can just um, say this right now is that um, I want to do this um, something I never done before on YouTube. So I just thought if I can create um, something special for myself, like a, create a, a birthday video vlog, I thought it might be really interesting. So I just thought you guys might get to know me a little bit, or if you feel like it, that's still fine by me. But anyway, let's start. So I have these um, cards with me just so I can make sure to keep in line just to know what I'm talking about in the next topic. So the first thing I want to talk about is um, the YouTubers that I actually kind of subscribed and I also who I also really liked very much. So for first starters, it's um, um, a YouTuber named Aurora Spencer. She is amazing, beautiful, and she really knows how to make your heart feel like it's it will light up like the scorching summer heat that fills up the burning sensation of your heart knowing that feeling the careness and everything that you know like knowing that she honestly does care about you who are fans of Aurora Spencer and in case you may not know who Aurora Spencer is she is um, a female vixen or better yet a female fox and um, she, yeah she's I, 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 I will say one thing in my opinion she is beautifully sexy and yeah, well, she sure knows how to make me smile and such. I will admit to that one. So, Aurora Spencer, if you're also watching this video, I just want to say, keep getting yourself beautiful. And yeah, what I'm saying is, make sure you keep yourself more beautiful than ever. Because I care about you, love you, and you are the most coolest YouTuber that I definitely know in my book. Okay, so number two. <clears throat> Let's see. Yes, number two. Now, if you guys ever watch Steven Universe, and I'm sure you guys ever um, watch a bunch of reaction videos, such as Steven Universe reaction videos, you may know a guy named <clears throat> Mr. Primito. <laughs> to be honest, I, I really like the way how he um, makes that kind of um, catchphrase. Yeah, I think it's a catchphrase. I'm not even quite sure, to be honest with you. But, um, yeah, I think it is a catchphrase in my kind of book. And also, I also like the way how I, I watched one of his videos one time, and I just, you know, like, he was getting to the music, you know, like, called Move It, Move It, Move It, or something like that. And I, and I, and I agree with Mr. Creamy Tow. He was, like, getting into it until Jasper interrupted when she, when she goes, STOP SINGING! And he was like, JASPER! <laughs> And seriously, it's almost just like, it's like Jasper was like insulting him. And, and I, will, I will say this one thing or another just to let you know, guys. Jasper sure knows how to push my buttons. Believe me. Jasper knows how to push my buttons. I mean, if I were to go toe-to-toe -to -toe on Jasper, I would, you know, just use my karate moves. And then, you know, as they say, the bigger they are the harder they fall. But still, if you guys ever think that if Jasper should stay as a villain, a villainess, sorry, a villainess or something like that, and if she still is, please tell me why she should remain still a villainess. Because in my opinion, I think she's still a villainess. And there's a slim chance that she would join the Crystal Gems. I mean, believe me, I know a judge of character when I see one. Just like Queen Chrysalis from My Little Pony, Ice Queen from Adventure Time, the Gender Bed episode, and all the other villains I definitely know. Believe me. But also, so I'm going to say this, Mr. Creamy Tell, keep doing what you're doing. Because in my opinion, you are the best reactioner I have ever known in YouTube. And, and I will say this too, you are one hell of a funny guy. I mean, I'm serious. You really are one heck of a funny guy. And and the thing is, your reactions are, like, priceless. So, Mr. Creamy Tail, thank you. 
Oh, and uh, P.S. I also like Amethyst too, and she is beautiful. <laughs> well, I mean, she sure knows how to. You get the idea. All right. Next up, um, another YouTuber named Sonic Song One Eight Two. Now, if you guys don't even know who um, this YouTuber is, this YouTuber specializes in making videos that has to do with um, Sonic the Hedgehog plush toys and such. And to be honest with you, the first time I ever um, watched one of her um, videos was um, Team Chowtix Detectives. And I gotta say, they are talented. I mean, you cannot find any much more talented voice actors out there who also support the channel of Sonic Song 182. And um, yeah, so these guys sure know how to create Sonic the Hedgehog plush webisodes everyone has ever made. I mean, you guys really need to check this out. I mean, I'm, I'm not joking. You guys need to check this out. I love their videos ever since, and I subscribe to that. So also, you guys are a phenomenon. Okay, so next up would be, um, and another, um, plush YouTuber series called, oh, actually, um, user, sorry. It's, um, Super Mario Logan. If you guys don't know who this person is, then you guys are definitely missing out, because Super Mario Logan is the funniest web, se web channel on YouTube there ever is, because of one thing. You see, there's this a puppet named Chef Pee Pee. I don't even know why they would name that name uh, beyond me. Anyway, so the only thing I could just say that the first time I ever um, watched one of their videos was um, when Chef Pee Pee was quitting his job from working as a night security guard from, um, of course, you guys may know of um, Five Nights at Freddy's. To be honest, I never even actually played the game, to be honest. I'm just not that type of guy who ever plays games that gets a lot jump scares believe me and um so the only thing is <laughs> that when i first saw the video the first time in my life it made me laugh my butt off on this one because there's a lot of reasons why you see one chef pb always kind of kind of screams like a little girl i have no idea why he always does that i mean maybe he's spastic that could make sense on that but beyond that, after that, and then after that, I also watched um, SML Nerf video, which is like where um, Bowser Jr. and Toad were like shooting Chef Pee Pee with those Nerf guns, <laughs> and, and it's just like it's almost just like every time when Chef Pee Pee goes, "Well, I'm almost done cleaning," and then I get to go on break, and then all of a sudden, bam, <laughs> just like that. Every time he always says that, he always gets hit like that. I mean, isn't that some sort of like a a, a catchy device or something like that? I don't know. But in case you may not know, guys, these guys have made 10 million subscribers. I mean, I cannot believe a plush YouTube series has made so much subscribers. I, I just, I know those guys are really hacking heck, funny. I mean, these guys are amazing. So, guys, so, yeah, so Super Mario Logan, all I could say is you guys are the best comedy in YouTube in my book, and I wish you can keep on doing what you guys do. So thank you, and making us smile, even with Shed Pee Pee is freaking out too. <laughs> okay, next up is Glove and Boots. Another, um, well, it's not actually a plush series. It's actually, um, I guess you could say it's like a, um, a Muppet kind of like series, but only for um, YouTube. So you, so you could say it's like a, a YouTube Muppet series called um, Glove and and boots and you see glove and boots is about a story of mario the the red puppet and also fafa who is also the gopher i mean i gotta say this one thing or another fafa always makes me laugh my butt off it's like in the, in the outtakes he always just like he doesn't even say it right and also fafa was also doing like this and i was like <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I, I just don't want to go overboard on this one. Um, so, yeah, like, Glove and Boots, definitely a YouTube series you guys definitely need to check out because you do not want to miss those comedy antics. So, Mario and Fafa, please keep doing what you're doing because you guys are the best. 
And of course, here's um another YouTuber I like called um Yata Dante. Now, if you guys don't even know who these guys are, they're also um I guess you could say an anime comedy group who does um um certain anime conventions and such. But they also did um let me see. Yeah, Anime Hunters. Now, for some odd reason, if you guys may not have noticed, most of the episodes, except the pilot episode, have been completely cleaned off of the YouTube channel for some odd reason. Now, I did message to those guys who made the episodes and such, and, um, yeah, and I did get a reply from the guys who made Anime Hunter, and, um, for some odd reason, one of the guys who was part of the cast of the entire Anime Hunter series, suddenly somehow moved away. And then, not only that, but he also says that he he was trying to migrate these episodes, I think, I'm not sure if it into another YouTube channel, or something like that, I don't know. But all I can just say this right now is, I just only hope that the, these other U Anime Hunter YouTube videos, a episodes, whatever, I just wish that they could just come back to YouTube, because... I still enjoy them very much, and I love the way how they made their episodes back in the day. So, so, so my, so my opinion, you guys, I understand how life can be like that when one, one of the cast has to move away on certain circumstances. So, yeah, it's all right, guys. Whatever you do, just do whatever you can, and just be what you can be. And I still support your series very much, even after. So, you got yourself an Anime Hunter fan. So, and uh, Jabroni Pictures. Now, if you guys know a, a guy named Jay, the one who is also um, a stunt martial artist, and, well, I guess you could say a stunt person in a sort of way, but, but <laughs> I'm going to say this. Jay is the most coolest guy to host a web tokusatsu series called Battle Hero Absolution. No, I'm, sh I'm sorry. That's Val Hero Absolute. I don't know. I'm not sure why they didn't say Absolute. But anyway, so he made a ton of web series episodes of Val Hero Absolute. And, uh, well, right now, um, he's working on um, all kinds of things that are going on. I mean, he's not giving up on the series right now. He's just has a lot of projects going on and such. And, um, well, I guess you could say that... Um, well, if you guys ever seen a, this video called Codex Short Film or something like that, you should definitely check it out. Because I mean, yes, it is kind of like Battle Hero Absolute, but this is kind of like um, a second alternate universe kind of like um, concept test. But, however, they did have this um, monster character or something like that, so that amplifies it much more better for the Battle Hero Absolute. Oh, and if you guys ever um, seen his um, Indiegogo profile, they did manage to successfully complete their campaign and such. Because, in my opinion, they were also going to try to have um, the female Pink Ranger, I believe. I think her, I think her name is Kat, who's going to be a, a part of a cameo episode in Battle Hero Absolute. I don't know the full details yet, but we're still waiting for confirmation on that. So, Jay, keep doing what you're doing. And also, Kamen Rider fans forever, and tokusatsu fans forever. And, um, next up is, um, Cos Perry. You see, um, Cos Perry, who you may know him from DeviantArt, mostly, and sometimes on YouTube, only on rare occasions, but Cos Perry, this guy is the, I mean, this, this, I'm sorry, I mean, this person is the most talented artist I ever know of. I mean, he takes certain things, like Don Bluth animation concept styles, like, it was like something, like, cr completely like you wish you could have seen those things years ago. Now, and in case you may, may want to know, guys, is that, um, this, um, this guy, um, this, uh, I'm sorry, this person, he, this person also likes, um, Seinfeld, which you may have seen some of the characters that are referenced to, um, to the show and such, and I think it's really cool. I mean, and, and also the Kramer one, that is just, I mean, I mean, have you ever seen Kramer in a Don Bluth version? Watch out, because it's gonna 
make you mind blown. So my advice, guys, check out Cos Perry's um YouTube webs YouTube channel and um his Deviant Art profile because yeah I mean his gallery sorry but yes he has so much art that you wish that you want to commission this person and also I like his art very much and I would really think that he's going to become much more known believe me and um let's see and um if you guys ever know this um um, YouTube th phenomenon for a uh, Milo Pony fans, such as um, this YouTube person named No One Cool, and I, I like his abbreviation how he um, describes it. I mean, it's kind of catchy the way how he um, makes it with the not the O's but with the zeros that makes it look like the O's. But anyway, my opinion. So the only thing is, I saw his videos of um, himself with Twilight Sparkle, kind of like in a real. I'm sure you guys ever seen these My Little Pony videos called MLP I R L. It's kind of like yeah in real life, and I'm sure it's a viral phenomenon that's happening all over YouTubers. And I'm sure I want to get into it too. Believe me. So anyway, this guy he was doing um like a car wash de uh, it's not car wash. What am I saying? A car decal kind of videos and then yeah and he makes all kinds of special twists and turns and and I still like the way how they make it so real life like it's like you're making an actual like it's happening in real life or making a real awesome episode so my advice guys no one cool is the awesomest YouTube user who makes that kind of um, MLP card decal series so my advice to you my friend Keep doing what you're doing, and I hope you make more MLP, I, I, sorry, IRL videos, because you are a talented person. And, um, so, yeah, and now the last one for YouTube users is this guy named Shang, it says S-H-N-G, I, I can't say it right, I think, Shang? Yeah, Shang275. Now, you may not know this guy, too, guys, but um, he's the YouTube user who um, posted these videos of a fan game based off from an anime series called Big O. Now, Big O is kind of like a mixture of Batman. Well, actually, it's like Batman meets Giant Robot. So, Roger Smith is kind of like Batman in a sort of way because he does have the same kind of mannerisms and the look in the outfit that is kind of like Bruce Wayne and such. But instead of dying a costume he goes to um, using the car and docks into the robot's foot or something like that goes into the cockpit and activates Big O to say action and I think that's a good kind of catchphrase and I also I'll also like this um, the ultimate kind of finisher called Chrome Buster yeah I think it's called Chrome Buster so um yeah he, yeah there's this um yeah this I believe this person created this um fan game that is kind of like you wish that this game was released on Nintendo 64 or on PlayStation because the graphics are retro phenomenon believe me they are so awesome you just wish that you cannot even actually believe that this is actually a video game in the making that this guy is doing. I mean, this guy is talented. This guy is amazing. So, my advice, if you guys are a bunch of, uh, if you guys are a bunch of, um, big O anime fan, diehard fans or something like that, I mean, I would consider myself a, a little bit of a diehard fan. I mean, I, I still love big O. I mean, I like his, um, finisher attacks. So if you guys do like the Big O series, I suggest you guys check out his channel. I mean, well, the only thing I could just tell you this right now, guys, is that he has been not doing much any activity for a couple of years now. I mean, he's his work is probably getting tied with all kinds of things like school and all such, which is it's not it's not a big surprise right now because we all have lives that are happening in schools and such. So my advice, if we can still be able to create 
new kinds of big go fan game levels or something like that, it would be awesome. So anyway, now that we got out of the this one out of the way, and uh, also yeah, that's also the end of the the best YouTube users that I know of in my um, book right now. So um. So right now, as you may not, so in case you guys might want to know, I am under development of creating um, a Steven Universe fan film or something like that. But right now, I'm trying to um, try to attempt to try to create um, something of a, a concept about, see if I can try to get um, Malachite or something like that, which you may not, not know this from, um, yeah, Steven's... Um, Watermelon Island episode. I'm trying to get that, um, see if I can be able to, um, have that animated, um, image of Malachite into my, um, videos in real life. It's kind of like My Little Pony in real life, but, but, so, okay, so here's one thing I want to ask you guys. Is it really possible to try to have, um, a, a, one of the scenes from your favorite cartoon series into, real life videos or something like that I mean something that you could just splice it in and just make it real life with adding shadows and such because I could definitely need the help of what I need to do in order to achieve that I mean I just want to know if this kind of concept can be possible I mean the only thing I can only just tell you this is that the My Little Pony series was made in flash animation so the Steven Universe episodes, they were made in a different kind of animation. So I'm not sure if this kind of concept could apply to that. So if you guys can really help me out or anything whatsoever, this could really be a huge help to me. So that I can understand how to make this concept really better so for my Steven, um, Steven Universe fan film. Se not, not series, I'm just a fan film, kind of. A short film, actually. And, um, just so you know that, um, I also took some couple of, um, videos of me and, me as Steven, and of course, um, a couple of other Steven Universe cosplayers from RockCon 2016, who I also met, um, um, now, you may not know this, guys, but I met Veronica Taylor, and she was amazing when I got a chance to talk to her. She was awesome. I mean, I managed to, um, grab my, um, Budsy of Claudia from Finding Foodons from what you've seen from my videos, and she was, she know this instantly, all of a sudden, that she knows who it is. And, um, and also, you're gonna be able to chance to see, um, a video of me and Veronica Taylor, which you'll see after this, um, video that I upload. So, um, yeah, so, back to the matter at hand, um, so my Steven Universe, um, yeah, so I also have videos from from me cosplaying as Steven Universe with, um, just certain parts, like, um, it, well, more importantly, I just got, um, video of Amethyst and Pearl, the cosplayers. So you'll probably see that from my other next future, um, YouTube videos. So, and, um, let me see here, um... Oh, and, um, yes, um, you guys may not already know this, but, um, as you may have already noticed that the Shin Megami Tensei game has already reached to the 25th anniversary, which is, it is a big achievement for a quarter of a century. I mean, that was a big phenomenon to me I have never realized. So, anyway, so let's get to the point on, um, so... What I'm trying to actually do is I'm actually um making a project of um see if I can create um a live action um not a spoof but I guess you could say like a yeah it's kind of like a I'm making a web series based off from the games itself called um like Shimigami Tensei Devil Fighter and uh, what this web series is about is about um a show about me as a detective yes as a detective fighting um demons from within the society of the public and such. <clears throat> and um, my partners in crime will be um, Jack Frost, which is kind of like um, how Ash has his own um, 
Pokemon partner named Pikachu, so I thought if I could try this concept, they might be able to like that. Oh, and um, another one, a partner in crime, which is my love interest in the series, is Nekamata. Now, you, now Nekamata will be Nekamata's, desi Nekamata's design will be changed differently. Will be uh, much more different than the games itself. So I guess you could say an exclusive design from my own series. So um, yeah, and um, I also did a casting call club to see if anyone could fill in the roles or anything whatsoever. And I've picked up one of the most talented person, this um, voice dub person, who can actually do the voice of Satan. Yeah, you may know him as one of the final bosses in Shin Megami Tensei games. And, um, and also, it's not also just about the, the evil demons and such. Now, also, I've been thinking of a, a web series of Shin Megami Tensei of a concept like what if not only just were I fight against the evil demons that are threatening humanity, but another concept, such as internet meme characters, such as Slenderman, Laughing Jack, and the other kind of demons who will want to try to corrupt minds of the people and even plague of all mankind. And that's where I come in, also fighting against these guys too in a sort of way. And um, not only that, but there will also be um, good meme characters who will also be part of the series as well, like the Neon Cat, and I'm not sure about the Piano Cat. I'm still working on the concept on that. But anyway, so yeah, that's exactly what I'm trying to do, but it's still an on and off kind of development depending on how the project is going on. But it's it's a working concept that I want to try out. So, so if you so yeah, so I'm still working on it, you guys. And um, so I, and uh, just so you know, I also had a, a great Christmas during 2016, and I hope you guys had a good Christmas in 2016. I mean, I had a pleasant, good one. I mean, do I know what my Christmas gifts are? Well, I'll let you guys um, take a look at my photos that I took, and I'll let you enjoy this little slideshow. Well, I hope you guys like the slideshow. I had a ton of cool Christmas gifts. I also have the, the DVD box set of... The Raccoons, which is it's a Canadian animated series, which I love very much. And um, I also got the biggest Christmas gift of all is the Nyango King from Samurai Pizza Cats. Or, yeah, I think it, yeah, from a Japanese series called Neon... Tian Day. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm trying to get the word in my head right. But, yeah. So, anyway... So yeah, like I got the deluxe kind of um, toy of the Niango King, or they, they call it the Great Canatonic. I I rather call him Niango King, or better yet, in my kind of way, Niango King Megazord, because that looks like a Samurai Pizza Cat's Megazord to me. So and um, let me see, and that and um, so yeah, like the Raccoons, the anime series. I love the series very much, and it kind of reminds me, I guess you could say, um, now, on this topic that's going to be coming up, it kind of reminds, now, regular show is kind of like the raccoons in a sort of way. I mean, not Rigby, because he is a raccoon. It's, it's just like something within the show itself, the formula of it, makes it so awesome, it makes you wonder, like you feel like you live through it without even feeling like it's a, a, like a show at all. So, that's also what I'm going to be um, talking about right here. So, if you guys ever watched the last episode of Regular Show, I want to say in my um, Aftermath reaction, or better yet, um, Aftermath? I will say finale reaction. So, my only advice... Um, well, I'm sorry. My, I'm sorry. I get... I get <laughs> so... My only thing to this show is I am kind of a little bit deeply sad about it, but 
If only I wish that they would just still keep going on and such. And believe me, I just... I guess I could say I am feeling a little bit sad and such. But they did have a good run, in my opinion, of course. But I would say, in my opinion, I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't like it the way how Pops had to be killed in that episode. I mean, well, let's just say this, that in my opinion, I don't think Pops did got killed in the episode. Because in my opinion, if you guys ever noticed the episode very much, I mean, there are some concepts that alternative universes can be occur on that kind of concept. I mean, I would not know that too much. I mean, I am kind of trying to understand the logic of it all, but it's a little bit too much. But in my opinion, of course, I wasn't even quite sure why Mordecai had to marry this um, unnamed bat girl or something like that. And I, I will say that she is kind of pretty hot and such, but I wasn't even quite sure of the reason why they never even had, why Mordecai never even married with Margaret for some odd reason. I just couldn't even quite tell the reason why. And not only that, Margaret wasn't even also in the photo shoot for the reunion and such. I mean, in not, it, the thing is, in my opinion, I think maybe it's because this might have happened from these occurrences and such, something like something within the butterfly effect that Pops may have somehow created when he is trying to have himself and the anti-Pops go into the sun and such and in my opinion may have created <laughs> sorry I almost remembered something what Rigby said like yeah when they re reset the universe and then Rigby was saying something like no what the terror that with the <laughs> I was going to say is my opinion is to about Rig what Rigby said like oh, the big what <laughs> oh, <geez>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Rigby is just... He, he just doesn't know what to... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I get a little bit off topic on that one. But, um, yeah. So, the only thing I can just say is that... Um, if you guys ever remember that episode from um, one of the regular show episodes... Where um, Margaret and um, Mordecai went into a... I guess you could say... I think it's like one of those... um, um Asian restaurant, I believe, or something like that. And this chef or something like did some sort of a special sauce or some kind that depicts of what will happen to these two in the future. And it does prove that they were actually married. But the only thing I can only just say is that I think, in my opinion, they are still going to be married, even if they're from a different universe and all. Which is, and if you guys ever noticed from the last part of the episode where Margaret says, How long will this last or something like that and Marakai from the future or yeah that kind of part would say only time will tell so yeah so the only thing I can just say this to you get to you guys is try not to feel saddened about it too much which is I know I feel saddened about it right now but the only thing is, is that there will be a chance that maybe in the future there maybe the creator of the show would create it some sort of like an animated movie special besides regular show the movie I mean the the only thing I can just only just say this is that if possible they might be able to appear themselves either in Steven Universe or on Adventure Time because in my opinion of course I mean well, if you guys ever know Futurama the finale of that episode they did not I mean sure they did finish that entire series and it was about to end either way. But they did somehow manage to come back in some sort of a, a Simpsons crossover episode. So, my opinion, guys, do not try to lose hope. Please keep being the fans of regular show that you can possibly be. Because these guys are awesome. And Mordecai, he is awesome too. And I also like the way how they did their good catchphrases. Because... They are amazing. And also, and also they just go like, Fizz Pump! Or, Yay! Yeah! <laughs> that is just too funny. These guys are just amazing. And these guys are the best kind of character. Um, yeah, Morkai and Rigby are the best dynamic duo in the Cartoon Network series. Believe me. 
So, let me see here. Well, I guess I don't got anything else um, on my mind. But anyway, um, to finish this um, birthday vlog short, I mean, I know it's probably long by now. So, I'm still curr currently working on a bunch of numerous projects. Like, like I'm still working on um, my Kamen Rider Speed Rider web series and such, and other tokusatsu web series that I will describe to you in a future later um, YouTube videos. So, my only um, saying to the end of this video right now, guys, is um, hope you um, like this video, and I hope you, if you like to subscribe one way or another, anything whatsoever, I would be appreciated if you like to subscribe to me. Because I'm trying to make the best videos as I can possibly can on this YouTube channel. And I can say this from my opinion, my birthday on January 17th, is going to be the best in 2017. Believe me. So, my so just to saying this to you guys is that I want to say thank you for paying attention to this video. Uh, so and also I hope you like and subscribe and I'll see you later. So until then, peace out.